In this session, we'll take a look at the basics of working with Excel Cube Grids. Firstly, wherever you see pluses, this means you can drill down to the next level of detail in the hierarchy. So, if I double click on Canada, you can see that I now have access to the provinces in Canada. If I double click on an individual province, it will now take me down to the city level. So, double clicking on British Columbia will collapse the data back up and similarly on Canada. The behaviour is the same on either axis, so if I double click on 2012, like so, it will take me to the half year, to the quarters, and finally to the months. Currently we've selected Reseller Sales Manager, so let's change this. We can do that by double clicking on the measure to bring up the member selector and then choosing the measure we want to see. In a final report, we could add slices to make the user selection easier. If I want to change the structure of the report in terms of its layout, there are several methods of achieving that. Firstly, the hierarchy labels can be dragged directly within Excel. So, if I drag product categories down onto geography, you can see that they have swapped. So I now have a report based on product categories. If I want to see geography alongside product categories, I can simply drag geography down and position it inside or outside of product categories. And you can see that I now have my product sales for each of the splits within geography. Secondly, at any point, design the grid which will take me back to the report designer and here I am able to reposition hierarchies as I choose. So for example I can move geography onto filters and calendar down to rows and categories to columns. Lastly I can turn on the task pane for the grid and make the same type of positional changes here. By default, the changes are immediate, but there is a delay updates option, which can be useful for multiple changes on slower cubes. So there are a variety of ways to manipulate the data and the grid, and it's down to your personal preference which method you primarily use.